All right, I guess we can go see the Weasley. Is there a way to travel faster there? I have no greens. Looks like this will be the best one. Even your footsteps, you can just like hear the solid wood floor in comparison to obviously the concrete. Not too much further. What is this? Apparently nothing. Although that is a lot of fun. <laughs> right. I'm sure he's in at the present moment, the Edmaster. We'll be sure to tell him how very much you want Oh my god, they let me outside. You know, I remember playing the original ones, and it was very much like a platformer. The spellcasting was interesting, but it was mostly to kind of get around. And this one, we're actually going to be focusing on fighting, I think, which is nice. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Well, he said not to tell her anything else, so... Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. 
Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I wouldn't say spending time with them, but if I had to pick between the two, let's at least pick the fun one. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yay, more homework. What's this? Okay. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Let's see, what's the task? Collecting flying pages? Okay, how is that experience? It sounds like he's making this me do what he was told to do. Lazy bastard. He just wanted to make, make me his errand boy. I knew I didn't like him. All he had to do was take 10 steps. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. No, they weren't. In fact, it's almost like you could have done them. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Let's see if this can help repair my will to live. Just a big old circle. Let's see... We can fix the mistakes around the school and fix bridges. Okay, that's kind of useful. Anything else? Nope, I guess that's it. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate.
Okay. Pretty awesome. But uh, is it time to leave the school now? Yeah, let's get out of here. Dang it. Get over here, you flying bastard. Oh, there's another. Mine. Yeah, I've got time for a side quest. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Ooh, a Do riddle for the Hatter. Stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Illuminating. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Uh, it looks like it's like over here somewhere. And of course, we have a marker for that, so that's kind of nice. This looks There's like a statue. location from the painting. What's Could that? Be so special about it. <laughs> Nope. Negative. Ah, it's like a, it's a moth. Moth to the light. Got it. And I'm assuming it goes in that hole that I didn't notice. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Yeah, let's go rub it in her face. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> I'm not telling you. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. All right. I'm only joking. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Yeah, you should have seen it. Oh wait, I can put that scarf on now, right? Wait, it's the pause button that does the, uh, there we go. Gear. Let's check it out. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. Anything fancy here? Sure, why not? Rounds out the face. I like it. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't like it, no. <laughs> we don't have any talent, no surprise there. I guess we'll have to come back later to that. Right. Oh, another side quest. Oh, dear. oh let's see you. I shall get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. 
Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay, you know what? We can do that. No big deal. Can't take long, right? That's one. Only four more to go. Easy stuff. We'll be in and out of here in no time. If I could just aim. Perfect. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Interesting. I was like waiting for it to go through the next one. That's mine. Um, oh, wait, is that it up there? I can come back to the library. That's a big portrait. Hey, get back here. Oh, wow, I actually did some damage. Hopefully I don't have to pay for that. Only one more. Another one of those uh, portraits. Oh, that's not right. There we go. And apparently it's over there. Eventually, I'll get it right. Students, first. A silence charm. That would be fun. I can hear a moth. Oh, there it is. Let's take you back to your portrait.
Dang it, it won't let me take the express elevator. I wonder if I'll get like a charm that'll let me jump off of this stuff and like catch me. Over here jumping on tables, don't mind me. That didn't take long. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Eh, let's screw with her a little bit. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. <laughs> huh, huh, that makes two of us. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some yeah, you do are that. trustworthy. Oh. Alright. Now is the time for us to leave? I'd say so. How do I track it? What's this? Quest items? Eh? Quests, here we go. Hogsmeade! Let's go. I do enjoy messing with people. But the Hatter doesn't care about finances. Well, fancy meeting you here. Now I can't remember the last time. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? It looks like a cartoon that's trying to break out of its physical form. Kind of like me, actually. Hmm. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. He sees me as a threat. I love it. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well... I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to dis- Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Is that like a hint to collect these things? I guess so. 
Cool. What is that? Okay. If I could put these in front of my house, I definitely would. Yeah, for no other reason than to annoy the neighbors. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at jeweling. Why are you just standing there? Oh yeah, that carriage reminds me. We just watched some dude just get absolutely destroyed and not even a flinch. I wonder how many people I've watched die. Oh wait, he was the first. What's wrong with me? I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. See, why you gotta say shit like that? Now you know something's gonna happen. Oh. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Ah, uh, I'm on a leash. Fine. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes, big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi... guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. That was a real good job, but at least we're here. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. See, if we had this kind of visuals for the uh, Zelda games, then um, I'm pretty sure that no one would ever stop playing them. Like, look at this. Can you imagine drinking that green potion right in the middle of a fight? So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. 
and a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Oh, you get your own map for it. Which, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's go get our wand first. I'd like to see what we can do when we actually have one that's meant for, well, us. Where did we get this one anyway? Ah, who cares? Walk in and immediately start robbing him. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Did you see his look after he finally got done picking it out? It was kind of like, alright, I think I'm done with this old man. <laughs> 